introduced um, the workout later on in the video and for the three groups and I just want you to take a look at this video that discusses a couple of important techniques that are really important when you are running and it's something that if you change it can improve your running ability very very quickly. Another element of sound running form is foot strike. But we're not going to talk about how your foot is striking the ground. We're going to talk about where your foot is striking the ground in relation to the rest of your body. I'm sure you've heard that a heel strike is bad and that you want to be landing instead on the ball of your foot or the midfoot of your foot. While there's a grain of truth to that, it's way more important to land appropriately in relation to the rest of your body. So if you are landing far out in front of your body, you likely have an aggressive heel strike. That's the type of heel strike that we want to avoid. If you're landing underneath your body, which is how we should be landing, then this is going to prevent a lot of that aggressive overstriding. It's going to make you more economical. It will prevent aggressive heel striking, and it's much easier on your joints. And finally, our third principle of good running form is your posture. It's always helpful to have good posture when you're running, not just for performance, but for preventing injuries. And so while you're running, you should have an athletic, tall posture. Your back should be straight. You should be looking straight ahead with your shoulders back and down. And this posture will prevent some of the slouching that is common among many runners, particularly beginner runners. An effective cue to help you maintain proper posture while you're running is to imagine that there's a string attached to the top of your head. And that string is being pulled up like a puppeteer would pull up a puppet. Having that string attached to the top of your head and being pulled up is going to remind you not to slouch, to keep your shoulders down and relaxed, and to keep your head in a neutral position looking straight ahead. Nice run done there, um, just wanted to get in out of the cold there before taking the video. Um, but yeah, that was a, a good session, um, probably the toughest one that you've done yet, um, because it is quite long so it takes a bit longer, so it just takes that extra bit of concentration and whatever, a little bit of mental strength. So what we're going to do now is, we've done really well, a full month of activities, three times a week, um, fair play to anybody who has participated and what we're going to do now is it's called a maintenance week and um, so basically the way the maintenance week will work is that you just repeat uh, either week two or week three on the plan okay so it's just you're not exactly improving you're just uh, maintaining what we've done before and we'll actually feel it'll give us a little break a little uh, refresher before we go into the last week and we'll feel really really fresh going into uh, week five it's just so we can all take a break for the midterm a um, bit of a mental break physical break um, and but still getting out and doing a bit okay so we all should be getting out making most of our days off uh, if you want to repeat week four again there's absolutely no problem there okay everybody have a brilliant midterm uh, we've worked really well up to now fair play to you for your online learning uh, your engagement your positivity everything throughout the term um, and you've earned it, okay? Thanks again. See you all next week.